Scientists using the James Webb Space Telescope have made a groundbreaking discovery. They have found the most distant active supermassive black hole known to date. This remarkable find is located within the galaxy Sears 1019, which came into existence just a little over 570 million years after the Big Bang. What sets this discovery apart is that the black hole in Sears 1019 is smaller in mass compared to any others observed in the early universe. But that's not all the researchers have also identified two more relatively small black holes that existed about 1 and 1.1 billion years after the Big Bang. In addition to these black hole revelations, the James Webb Space Telescope has spotted 11 galaxies that were in existence when the universe was only between 470 and 675 million years old. These findings are a result of the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey conducted by the Webb Telescope. Sears 1019 stands out not only for its ancient existence, but also for the relatively modest size of its black hole. This particular black hole has a mass of approximately 9 million times that of our Sun, which is significantly lighter than the massive black holes detected in the early universe by other telescopes. Those colossal black holes typically exceed 1 billion times the mass of the Sun and are easier to spot due to their brightness, generated as they actively consume matter, illuminating it as it spirals toward them. The black hole residing within Sears 1019 shares more similarities with the black hole at the heart of our Milky Way galaxy, which has a mass of 4.6 million times that of the Sun. Furthermore, it's not as luminous as its more massive counterparts identified previously. Despite its smaller size, this black hole's early emergence presents a puzzling question regarding how it formed so rapidly after the birth of the universe. Researchers have harbored suspicions for a long time regarding the existence of smaller black holes in the early universe. However, it was only through the meticulous observations conducted by the James Webb Space Telescope that these suspicions were definitively confirmed. It's important to bear in mind that Sears 1019's distinction as the most distant black hole may be fleeting, given the ongoing scrutiny within the astronomical community surrounding claims of the identification of even more remote black holes by Webb. The wealth of precise data provided by Webb has made the confirmation of these findings remarkably straightforward. Rebecca Larson, leading this discovery from the University of Texas at Austin, emphasized the abundance of spectral lines available for analysis when observing such distant objects with the telescope. This wealth of data allowed the team not only to distinguish between emissions originating from the black hole and those from its host galaxy, but also to precisely determine the amount of gas being consumed by the black hole and assess its galaxy's rate of star formation. Webb's observations have thus unlocked a treasure trove of information, shedding light on the behavior of these distant cosmic phenomena. Sears 1019's significance extends beyond its remarkable antiquity. It's equally distinguished by the comparatively modest mass of its black hole. This black hole registers at approximately 9 million times the mass of our Sun, a far cry from the colossal black holes that coexisted in the early universe and were identified by other telescopes. Those cosmic giants often exceeded 1 billion times the mass of the Sun, making them more conspicuous due to their heightened luminosity resulting from their active consumption of matter as it spirals toward them. In contrast, the black hole residing within Sears 1019 bears a closer resemblance to the black hole at the heart of our Milky Way galaxy, which tips the scales at 4.6 million times the mass of the Sun. Furthermore, it emits less brightness compared to its larger counterparts previously detected. Despite its relatively diminutive size, this black hole's existence during such an early epoch of the universe poses a perplexing question. How did it form so swiftly following the universe's inception? For a long time, researchers have held the belief that smaller black holes must have been present in the early universe. However, it wasn't until the James Webb Space Telescope initiated its observations that these beliefs were transformed into definitive confirmations. Webb's data is overflowing with precise information, making these confirmations readily accessible within the data. 
as Rebecca Larson from the University of Texas at Austin, who led this groundbreaking discovery, noted, looking at this distant object with this telescope is a lot like looking at data from black holes that exist in galaxies near our own. The abundance of spectral lines available for analysis allowed the team not only to distinguish between emissions originating from the black hole and those from its host galaxy, but also to pinpoint the quantity of gas being consumed by the black hole and ascertain its galaxy's rate of star formation. Sears 1019 commands attention not only for its ancient existence, but also for the relatively modest mass of its black hole. This particular black hole weighs in at approximately 9 million times the mass of our Sun, which stands in stark contrast to the colossal black holes detected in the early universe by other telescopes. These cosmic giants typically exceed 1 billion times the mass of the Sun and are more easily detected due to their increased brightness, a result of their active consumption of matter as it spirals toward them. In comparison, the black hole within Sears 1019 bears a closer resemblance to the black hole at the heart of our Milky Way galaxy, which boasts a mass 4.6 million times that of the Sun. Additionally, it emits less brightness in comparison to its larger counterparts previously identified. Despite its relatively smaller size, the existence of this black hole during such an early phase of the universe's history presents a puzzling question. How did it form so rapidly after the universe's inception? Webb's observations have undeniably reshaped our understanding of the presence and characteristics of smaller black holes in the early universe, providing a new perspective on cosmic history. It's worth noting that Sears 1019's record as the most distant black hole may only be temporary, as claims regarding the identification of even more remote black holes by Webb are currently under careful review by the astronomical community. The data collected by the James Webb Space Telescope is a veritable treasure trove of precise information, making the process of confirming these discoveries remarkably straightforward. Rebecca Larson, who spearheaded this breakthrough from the University of Texas at Austin, like in the experience of examining this distant celestial object with the telescope to analyzing data from black holes situated in galaxies close to our own. The wealth of spectral lines available for analysis provided an abundance of information. Notably, the research team was able to disentangle the emissions within the spectrum, distinguishing those originating from the black hole and those from its host galaxy. Additionally, they achieved the remarkable feat of precisely determining the quantity of gas being consumed by the black hole and assessing its galaxy's rate of star formation. Webb's observations, with their wealth of data and meticulous analysis, have unveiled a deeper understanding of these distant cosmic phenomena, shedding light on their behavior and characteristics.